Hi, I'm Greg LeBlanc, and I'm here at the Haas School of Business with uh, Steve Hirsch, who is the Chief Data Officer at Intercontinental Exchange, the parent corporation of New York Stock Exchange. Welcome, Steve. Thank you. Thanks for having me. So, Steve, uh, part of what we're doing here at the Haas School is um, making the point that every company is now uh, a data company, and uh, New York Stock Exchange is no exception. So, at Inter Intercontinental Exchange, um, how has data transformed what it means to be an exchange in recent years? So, <clears throat> data is really at our core, um, and recently, uh, with the proliferation of exchanges, um, there's been this creation of a web uh, between the exchanges where data is flowing in and out of every exchange because each exchange needs to know the state of every market in order to be allowed to trade in the national market system. So we have this real-time data flow between every exchange and not only that but every participant in every exchange is using that same data flow to determine where to route their orders, right? So it's, it's really the lifeblood of the exchange business. Yeah, but with that national system, um, you know, every exchange is more or less in the same place with respect to, to price and execution, right? So, so how does a, an exchange uh, create a competitive advantage around data? Basically uh, through their liquidity pool, right? So the bigger you are, the more valuable um, your data is. So being the New York Stock Exchange, we have we have not only our, our market makers, right, which are um, helping cr build liquidity in our market and driving orders to our market, which uh, creates a uh, self-fulfilling prophecy there, right? Um, but we also have um, the scale uh, to, to, and being the de facto market for our listed companies, we have the, the uh, scale and the, um, what's the best word, for, <coughs> For the consumer of data, not just not just the real-time consumers, but the the universities and and the um, uh, all of the analysts to to require our data sets. Now, with the rise of uh, high-frequency trading and um, algorithmic trading, speed is of the essence. So, um, what kinds of changes have you had to make to your data architecture to? Um, facilitate this rapid increase in demand for speed. It's been it's been quite a ride. Um, so I would say going back 15 years, our architecture actually had persistence um, in from the trading system perspective. We actually had you know disks in in play. Uh, you know going back say f 10 years, it was all in memory uh, using you know traditional open systems uh, <coughs> with maybe mem map queues, but but still very fast. Today, it's single processes running on single cores with no interruption, um, very, very refined technology. Um, and then from a data perspective, we do everything we can to avoid touching the data uh, more than once. So if we're gonna transform it at all, we touch it only once. Um, we land it in our data lake. Um, the analysts can do whatever they want from there. But it's uh, it's been a huge a huge challenge, and fortunately, there's been a lot of focus in the big data space from industry right you know lately that helps us uh, leverage the new technologies to to be able to keep keep pace really. In terms of the skill set that people need to succeed in, in finance, um, how has that changed? So, uh, Are you seeing more and more folks who come in with a strong data background. Yeah. On, on all sides of uh... yeah, I think I think that there's there's different pieces of the, to the puzzle to be successful in being able to leverage data, and um, you need people who can manage it. You need to make people have people that can govern it, and make it available. Um, but then you definitely need people who understand it and understand the business and how to tie the two together. So we are we we employ many what are called now data scientists. Mm -hmm. um, uh, and data analysts, and it's, it's a key piece of the puzzle, for sure. Steve, thanks for coming. You're welcome, thanks for having me.